Hi, welcome back to the channel, Train Station 2. Alright, the Peru event's fourth competition has started. I'm saving up the event keys for this epic train. And of course, I'm going to share with you my Region 5 Canadian trains in this video too. Currently leading in the uh, fourth competition and I hope my luck uh, would uh, continue. Uh, okay, this is the start of the fourth competition. So I'm at 24th place uh, with 0 EP. Alright, so this is just the start as you can see there. Uh, we still got two days, nine hours left. So apparently, I've been starting really late. You can see there. Um, we'll be collecting all the uh, large number of EPs I've been storing up for head start. And uh, very quickly, I'll show you the amount of head start that I have is 176 EP that propels me from the level of uh, rank 24 to the first. And of course, um, I'm trying my best right now um, to fulfill my other customers' requests. But I got a problem here. Uh, apparently, my warehouse space is full. So how do I try to appease um, the customer and yet uh, manage with a tiny warehouse? <laughs> okay, so um, always make use of your factories um, as interim warehouse spacing. Uh, meanwhile, um, try to release train by train um, because they are all packed. Uh, to send them out for dispatch that will allow me some space to maneuver uh, this tight situation here. So um, we're going to send train by train and then I'm going to collect the things back and then I'm going to send out the train again. This is how tough it is when you have such a tiny warehouse. So do not like me, you should uh, build up your warehouse space in the onset, i.e. during your region 1 and 2. Start using the 5 building techniques at the head start uh, of region 1 and 2. You should have at least 10,000 population or even 15 to 20 uh, when you reach region 5 so for me uh, even though i'm in region 5 i have only uh, 7000 plus of population which actually translate to a tiny warehouse um, fear not if you are already progressed far into uh, region 4 and 5 like me uh, with an equivalent uh, small warehouse um, you can use my method um, this method is not uh, something new I've been repeating in all my videos input and output tray of your factories your six core factories can act as your interim warehousing like you can see what I'm doing right now um, why do I store the production is because when the, you want to convert those um, items you have planned to produce in the input tray you can convert it back to raw materials I always use the example of uh, chairs is made out of timber and nails so actually you can get back your timber and nails when you cancel that order for the chair i hope um, uh, you understand what i'm trying to say here if not just can drop me a comment i'll, I'll explain further using words then all right so uh where we are right now um we are going to probably spend that 25 um, gems uh, to engage an additional dispatcher I'll see how things goes. Um, this will be a long competition. It's always um, short and followed by a long one, right? So short in terms of two days, a long one will be three days. In between, uh, depends. Sometimes it's about 12 hours, sometimes about 24 hours of break time. So plus minus, uh, there should be a total of seven. Um, the this fourth competition, uh, I believe, will be the midpoint uh, of the uh, event because if assuming there'll be seven competitions, the fourth one is a median, right? So that's how I plan this out. I'm going to pace out the progression. So currently, I think I'm at 96% of the map completed. I definitely will not complete 100%. Uh, I will try to drag it as much as possible until the last competition. Um, the reason why is because once you complete 100% of the event map, everything would go nuts. Um, basically, you get very tough jobs. So I'll try to avoid that situation. Um, if you already completed 100%, probably you can share with me your comments in the uh, comment box so everybody can learn from you. Um, I only based on my previous experience in other events which I completed 100% early and I suffered tremendously so that's something I try to avoid at all costs after that bad experience so for me um, even though there are some jobs that is tougher right now because it's round 2 of certain customers there are 3 customers in total so you can see some uh, back to the round 2 which means they go uh, 20 out of 20 that completes one round and then the second round you start with 1 slash 20 
of the job again but it will be slightly tougher but it's still better than completing the third customer which is the final customer which I believe will push me back into 100% completion of the event lab so that's why I'm not going to complete that last customer's request um, given the fact that um, if I could I will try to do up the two other customers first uh, before I can do that gentleman's um, request because that gentleman's request is currently uh, still got a few more you can see here it's 26 uh, and definitely it's much easier you can see at one shot uh, all my dispatchers I can send and complete his job um, what's going to happen is that uh, with that pushing near to 30 slash 30 uh, that will be the finale of 100% completion so I'll be probably st um, stick to 29 slash 30 or even 30 slash 30 but I'm not complete that 30 slash 30 job of his um, I'll focus on the two ladies there uh, and finish their jobs although their second round of their jobs is get tougher smaller EP sometimes um, but definitely uh, a lot of quantities required the demands uh, for the uh, supply of the quantities is really high um, EP is tiny um, sometimes um, they may give you generous like 47 like this one still not too bad uh, but sometimes it's only 30 plus but the quantity is like what five six hundred so it's quite a lot all right so far um, I believe you are from different time zone uh, you know compare this in my group which is fantastic uh, the reason why is because in Singapore 8 p.m. will be the ending of the competition and most of the time um, the competitors of my uh, being in other parts of the world uh, probably will be their sleeping time um, so that's always a time advantage for me at this side of the world uh, in fighting this competition so if uh, based on what I've seen so far uh, this couple of hours in uh, recording this video um, it seems to be the case um, there's no movement uh, from uh, the other competitors uh, most probably they are still sleeping um, I'm coming towards the uh, sleeping my time zone <laughs> for sleeping so probably they're gonna get awake soon um, so probably I'll check it out again tomorrow I've created roughly about 200 over EPs gap there um, I believe it will be more or less uh, good enough for this current juncture I uh, can see here um, I got 622 uh, event keys I'm targeting this which requires 2500 event keys I'm going to save up uh, and then if only balanced without uh, uh, any more extra for another train I'll use them for the parts of the upgrade of the trains so for now I pray hard uh, that they are not too aggressive Alright, so I'm going to show you next, of course, as promised, in the Canadian uh, fleet of trains. Um, this is my Canadian fleet. Um, I've grew it uh, from scratch, i.e. I didn't bring over as what I normally do with 3000 event coins. So it's um, earning this trains by train using event. That is not unfamiliar. Rodolph is from the Christmas event. And this I've just shown you recently um, is the uh, event train for Peru. Likewise for this, all right. One is from the uh, 4000 event keys and another using 1000 event coins. And this, of course, Frosty um, is the uh, Christmas event. So another one here, uh, this uh, Southern Pacific, um, kind of uh, lucky here. I uh, got another one here, PRRS1. So these are all the Canadian legendary I have. And uh, Mr. Plow is the uh, Christmas event uh, epic train. And of course, uh, Gingerbread uh, train likewise is from the Christmas event. And let's see what's, what's next. All right, uh, this uh, EMD likewise, I think it's from the Christmas event. It's a common train. And um, because uh, PRRS1, you have seen the duplicate. Um, you can see the difference between uh, event train and the uh, normal region train is by the capacity like common you get 30 out of 30 uh, that's just the event train normally common is only 20 all right so that's how it differentiate um, EMD epic um, another one here AC 11 uh, Canadian uh, steam train uh, CNO uh, likewise is a steam Canadian uh, these are the common trains which are upgraded to a maximum of uh, uh, capacity already uh, likewise for this initially I thought it was a legendary but because it's yellow <laughs> all right another uh, engine uh, which I hope to upgrade full soon all right then you have DRG 
CRG and of course the Soviet uh, locomotive class L. Alright, uh, who else? Alright, uh, SNCF 240P. Uh, we have a duplicate here. And of course, uh, with this limited tree by uh, J3. Alright, so then we have the uh, DRB class. Um, some duplicates you can see along the way. Uh, SLBEL9 and then of course the next one is SNCF 150P uh, EMD E6 got a couple um, yep just want to show you yeah you'll see uh, along the way there are a few duplicates I'll just keep them as I mentioned uh, unless necessary otherwise I would not uh, dismantle them even though they are duplicates because sometimes it's double restriction by types in terms of common epic and whatnot and then by engine type uh, that is talking about diesel steam and whatnot so it's really important to keep the uh, uh, different engine types all right this is F S class and then the uh, soviet uh, locomotive class l again and uh, of course this is duplicate and sb got a couple of them emd likewise all right so this is my whole fleet uh, in canada Canada itself, uh, Primo, um, this one here, um, it cannot be found um, using event, uh, 100 event keys because it must have the jobs completed before it's released. Uh, so the, the, what I can find in the 100 keys will be this, um, Bowen and of course uh, the uh, another FS class but different number there. Alright, so in the 100 keys container, there are two more missing trains I can get only when they finish the uh, Canadian jobs then they release the legendary train into this alright uh, that's all I wish you good luck in the coming competition goodbye <laughs>